up guys the camp in russia here welcome back to the oldest server in minecraft i am now in the end dimension as you know from last episode we left you with a little bit of a cliffhanger there we are in the end bad news though mitch when you no, jumped sorry. into yeah when you jumped into the end portal you uh your game crashed right there and because of the queue system you weren't able to get back on until right now when we started filming again and you were killed by lava so you just died like seconds ago you just died good thing is the end portal's not too far from spawn you're gonna make your way back but i think i see so there's, there's this little cobble box mitch that you spawn in um at the end portal uh, when you come out and it's covered in lava so i think this is where you were actually killed dude so i am going to um make sure that i block off this lava so when you try again this time Hopefully you don't die. <laughs> that, I, but I, I also didn't see you on my tracers when you came in, though. So I'm. But I was in before you. I was in and dead before you logged in. I think. Okay, so maybe that's it. Either way, so Mitch is dead. He's making his way back. I am going to again cover this up with. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna do it with cobble, dude. I'm trying. I mean, there's a piece of. How long does it take to break an obsidian block with iron, dude? Okay, iron pickaxe. Yeah, it should take me about two minutes here to break this piece of obby with an iron pick. God dang it, dude. Okay, I just broke it, buddy. And I think now I should be able to... Yep, I blocked off the lava. So it should be safe now, Mitch. I, I believe this is the platform I spawned in. I walked a little bit away from here uh, at the end of the last episode because I wanted to be safe, of course. Thank God I did that because it would have been lava Um, But yeah, it should be safe now when you jump back in. Now you just got to make it back, dude. That's your next goal. Uh, uh, are you think you're gonna be able to make it? I mean, it's no, no, yeah, I'll be able long. to make it. I'm actually almost there. Okay, okay, actually, yeah, you literally you can walk here. Literally, yeah, that's all. You can literally walk here, and then I'll give you food because I've got a stack and a half of carrots. Oh, so I'll just perfect. wait for you, and then we'll start exploring the end, dude. This is epic. Oh, I've been shit. kicked for idle. No. What? I just got kicked. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the oldest server in Minecraft. Ladies and gentlemen, things have been getting absolutely crazy lately. It is currently 2.35 a.m. and uh, this is my second attempt at trying to uh, to connect to the server. The first time I tried to connect, I got, uh, I logged in and I died. Last episode, I jumped into the portal and as soon as I touched the portal, I crashed instantly. Um, so I'm gonna jump in there right now and I'm gonna hope that, uh, that it doesn't happen the same. I'm, I'm praying to God. Um, that it's not the same. So I logged in and I walked like 3,000 blocks, 2,000 blo 2, blocks, whatever it is to get to the portal. I walked all the way here just to get kicked 40 blocks away due to like idle, some random glitch. Obviously I wasn't idle because I was walking. Um, but it kicked me because of that and it was absolutely terrible. So now I had to wait another three hours in queue and, uh, well, ladies and gents, we're here. I'm going to hop in the portal. I'm praying. I am praying that it's not going to kick me. Also, my throat is kind of gone right now. It's uh, it's not bad, but it's gonna. it might start leaving here mid-episode. So I'm, I apologize for that. Ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one, here we go. I'm in. Oh my god, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in, boys. This is absolutely crazy. All right, there's nobody in here right now. Oh man, this is way farther than I expected to be. All right, all right. We need to regroup and uh and think about what's happening here all right so i have the coordinates i need to go to right now and uh of course i'm not going to tell you guys the coordinates although uh i feel like no matter where i go people know where we are in the server it's absolutely crazy and it's a feeling that you can't oh god it's a feeling that you can't really replicate anywhere else but literally i feel like i'm being watched everywhere i go i feel like there's eyes on me and someone's ready to jump out of nowhere. Man, what the heck is this? This is absolutely destroyed, though. I can barely even walk. Okay, okay there we go. Okay, we found a little bit of a tunnel here. This is going to save us, I think. Because walking through just that open, or uh, like those open pits there, I can end up falling and dying somewhere. But the island does end of... Oh my gosh, there it is. There it is. There is a platform at the bottom. Okay, so I need to find myself, or I need to find my way all the way to the bottom. And then uh, follow that bedrock path, I guess. It's not. Somebody's made a bedrock path. All right, let's see how low we can go. How low can you go? All right. Uh, oh, perfect. We should be able to make it all the way down there. And there's water. Um, I strategically got a crafting table, four wood planks to make sticks and a hoe if we need. And I got enough dirt and enough bone meal to, uh, to keep the food going for a bit. 
All right, see if I can drop down somewhere in here. Is this, nope, not yet. Is that gonna work? Yes, that'll work for me, perfect. Look at me, just going. All right, we're gonna walk this way. Uh, actually, we're gonna walk, I don't know which way it is. All right, I'm confused, cut. All right, well, hopefully people don't know uh, where I'm walking. Wait, is this the end of it or does it keep going? I feel like that's definitely the end of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to save a little bit of time, I'm not gonna sprint jump, but I will sprint. Um, I was actually conserving my food the entire way here. And uh, I mean, look at this. This is just where it ends. It literally is just a platform and I'm supposed to keep walking, but I don't understand how this was formed. Ladies and gentlemen, can somebody please fill me in with a little bit of insight on how, how this is even possible? Because I've, I've definitely been in a few Minecraft ends, especially vanilla ones in my past, and I've never seen this. I've never seen uh, like bedrock paths just going out of nowhere. I mean, I can't go out there. I can't go out there. All I have to do is just follow this path. And this is the first thing I've seen. All right, there's a path right above us. Not bad, not bad. I wonder if we're going to, uh, I wonder if that's gonna help us at all. I keep looking forward because I don't wanna walk off the edge. But there is a path above us. That's, that's nuts. I don't think I, well, yeah, I definitely don't have enough blocks to build up to that. But that means that someone has definitely been in this direction, which is good. Um, there's a few theories I have about uh, what are, where I'm going. One is uh, once you go far enough out, I believe you hit the end islands. I originally thought that the end islands were in a different dimension. You needed that portal to teleport you. But apparently that portal only teleports you maybe a couple thousand blocks out. Okay, don't get turned around with the leg. It's easy to turn like this way a little bit and get lagged and think you get turned around. And uh, I definitely do not want to do that. I definitely do not want to get lost. It kind of feels like I'm running on the like the start of Star Wars when it like talks about the intro and stuff. And it's just like endless line of text just going through space. It's kind of what I feel like. I feel like I'm running along that text. Oh, oh, there's a boat. There's a boat. Let's see, is there anything above us? Yeah, it is definitely still above us. We'll keep going. We're going to take this boat just in case. Oh, wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Okay, what just happened? I am so confused right now. The water literally just poured down here and now it's gone. Either somebody's above us and is just following me I have player trait. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Uh, projectiles, true sight, waypoints. Okay, we have tracers on, and everything else is off. Actually, I will turn Killor on just in case I do meet up with someone. Uh, like that's really gonna matter though, cause uh, I am, I am indeed naked, and I could probably be slayed pretty, pretty quickly. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, is this water falling, or is this an active water source now? Because if that's an active water source, I could swim up it, but I could also keep going. Okay, so we can always come back to here and try to, to muster our way up there if we absolutely need to. But as for right now, we're going to keep on pressing on. Oh my gosh. All right, something just appeared. Uh, I don't know what it says. It says something kind of cool. I don't, I, I don't know. It's, a, it's made out of food. I don't know if I should get the food. Maybe I should get a few of the food. Just in case, I will crouch and grab you and you and you. Don't leg me off. Please, please, please. Uh, I'll just grab this one uh, this one letter here. I, I won't be too rude. And I mean, this sign was obviously made knowing that they weren't going to get their food back. And uh, there we go. We got another stack. We need a stack. We need a stack. We'll take, a, we'll take down one of the legs here. All right, here we go. Should be enough for now. And I got all this bone meal still, too. We can, again, we can come back to here if we need. See if these signs say anything. It definitely doesn't look like it does. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick cut here because uh, I need to do some, I need to make a decision whether to stay here or go up there. All right. Well, the decision has been made and uh, apparently I could take either or, uh, but obviously we just found food on the bottom here. So as long as it stays above us, I think we should be good down here. If it ends, obviously we'll go back and go on top of here. But I'm going in a straight direction and I need to be going off in a little bit of a side direction too. But it doesn't seem like I can walk. I don't know, like this is only like what, 50 blocks thick, 30 blocks thick? I can't walk this way at all. So I don't know if this was made by some sort of glitch or some sort of uh, like handmade or I have no clue, but literally bedrock only goes in certain paths. It looks like it's handmade. Definitely just accidentally dropped a carrot. Nice, we will crouch. Yeah, I mean, look at this. 
It just randomly stops for some reason. What is that? Is that someone got lazy and didn't place it there? Or was that somewhere in the like the chunk loading it? I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to talk technical stuff when I clearly don't have a clue. All right, all right, some bigger stuff just appeared. We will keep going. There's some blo- Oh, man, there's a block here. Cobblestone block. I don't know if anyone's been here in a while. Doesn't look like anything. Sun Wukong came here again, 3716. Uh, that was six days ago. James Russell was here 2014. Oh, what's up, buddy? Uh, what do we got here? We got some seeds. Oh, I'll take the seeds. Uh, stone sword, I will take, actually. Uh, pop it up there. Feather, I don't think we need. Then here, come on, boys. Come on, boys. All right, well, I mean, now where do we go? Because this straight line just kind of ended. I think we may have to go up, because uh, I'll check over here quickly. But if it doesn't keep, or I wonder if this, oh, this might be the turn that I need. Oh, I think this is actually the turn that I need. Okay, we're going this way. Ladies and gents, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just going to keep following it. Oh, 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 don't lag me out. All right. It looks like uh, we're coming up and do another gap in the bridge here. We're going to gingerly step across. Oh, man. Okay, this is absolutely crazy. Every time I log into the server, it gets crazier and crazier. I don't know what that is. Something looks like it's glitching out on my screen. Which way? I guess it splits again. We're going to keep going this way for now. Unless it ends right here, which I think it does. Yeah, okay, it definitely ends right here. We have to go up. See, this is what I'm saying. It looks like somebody is just like, it looks like Frostwalker. Honestly, it looks like someone had like a 50 wide, thick Frostwalker button bedrock. And they literally just walked like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna walk this direction. And wherever he didn't walk, there's no bedrock. I have, I'm confused. Every time, like I was saying though, every time I log in the server, it gets crazier and crazier. First time I logged in, I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't know of the... I didn't know anything. I didn't know the history. I didn't know the popularity of the server. I didn't know it was actually a big deal. And then last episode, or two episodes, excuse me, we were talking about how, like, years ago, the end portals were destroyed and stuff like that. Now, all of a sudden, we're inside the end, and I don't know. It's it's just, it's crazy. I can't believe it. Hopefully, okay, she's still loading for me. Please, please, please. All right, we got some blocks. We got some blocks. Looking good. There's two. I feel like we're going to walk into something big. I can feel it. I can feel it. And there's definitely no platform above us now. That's for sure. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. Don't freak out. I thought it was, uh, oh. Oh my. Okay. Please just keep going straight. Keep going straight. All right. We got some water chunks here on the right. I guess that's what we could use the boat for. We got some melon seeds. Not bad. We can get some melon seeds from that if we absolutely need. And what? Say, there's some XP here, but does it just not load anymore? Is that where we're just gonna stop, right here? Bedrock Walker Boy just walked all the way out here to set up this platform and then just stopped? There's no loot, no nothing? Oh my gosh. So we might have to walk all the way back and then get on top of that, uh, that thing. Oh, actually, but for now, we might as well hop on the boat and see if this takes us anywhere. This is why we got the boat! See, ladies and gents, you don't expect things, but you just need to- Oh man, is this a- Oh, dude! This is an Enderman farm! Oh, and there's chests everywhere. Nice. All right, let's loot this thing. Oh, it's guaranteed already looted. Oh, there's some stuff here. All right, all right. Oh, my God! Oh, my God, guys, look at all the E-pearls! There's stacks on stacks of E-pearls here. I mean, that's to be assumed as it is an Ender Pearl farm. But, oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord, look at all the stuff! There's stuff everywhere. What else? Uh, stone sword. We probably don't need it. Uh... Shtick, we'll take just in case. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, we'll take some of that. We will take, oh my god! Projectile 4, fire protection 3, projectile 4. Oh my gosh, guys, look at all of the books! Ladies and gentlemen, I am freaking out. I am absolutely freaking out. There's a flint and steel. There's a hoe, that's what I needed. There it is, there it is. Oh my god, Bubba J! Got ladies and gentlemen, I recognize him from Fit MC's video. He is Fit MC's carrots on the next level. Are you serious? You guys can be legends if you guys actually have carrots up here. Ladies and gentlemen, Bubba J is a veteran. I can almost guarantee he's a veteran. I've seen him in Fit's videos and he's working with Fit. Somehow, some way, he's working with Fit. All right, pearls here, pearls. Uh, some signs. Oh, nice, some iron legs. We will definitely toss those on. Uh, saddle. I don't think we're gonna take those. I don't want to take too much, but I mean, what else is out here? Is this just it? I have a feeling that we should get out of here pretty quick. All right, because I feel like this definitely is a veteran base of some sort, uh, because nobody knows about the end. Realistically, 
Uh, nobody really knows about the end. We just figured out, figured out about the end like two or three days ago only because of an inside source. And before us, I mean, who else knew about it? Like nobody. So that's why I think that is actually some sort of an active uh, veteran base. It must be because there's stuff in it. Like there would not be stuff in it. If that was six years old, that would be raided and bust down and would not be working at all. Ladies and gentlemen, um, holy crap, hold on, there's some stuff to talk about, uh, before we get into it. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go, I don't know what's wrong with the Q system. The Q system's a little bit backwards right now, hold on, let me, all right, go, chat, and there we go, off. All right, so last episode, I don't know what happened, it was about 3 a.m. last night, and I was clearly too tired. Whatever I was trying to do, I was way too tired. So I thought that I could fight the Enderman, and I forgot... I forgot that I had no armor on, so the Enderman killed me. So that was like number one fail of the episode. I was basically crying, and uh, I didn't know really how to commentate after, because I just wanted to walk back and get my stuff. So that didn't work. And then on the way back here, I crashed in almost the exact same spot. It kicks me for being idle. So now we're looking at 12 hours later. It's actually 3 p.m. the following day. Uh, I tried to stay up super late, and I, I did stay up super late, but... Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ready to go down yet. I'm just praying that it doesn't kick me again, and I need to find some freaking food. All right, so we're not quite at the base yet, or not at the base, not at the end. Uh, Brayden is not on, by the way. Last episode, I was waiting for him to come back a little bit, and I was hoping that we were going to be able to get our food together and stuff like that, and uh, he's not on right now, so I don't know how far I'll be able to get uh, without any food. I'm praying I'm going to be able to get back to the spot that I was at before, and uh, and find some food. I thought it was pretty cool while it lasted. We got to raid a veteran base completely solo, which is absolutely insane. I didn't think I'd ever be able to do that. And uh, I was pretty happy that none of the veterans actually came to talk to me about it. Because I had a feeling if a few of them showed up and I was in the middle of their base, it would not be very pretty. So my food situation is doing actually better than it was last time. But I forget how far out I walked. I think I walked out over a thousand blocks in the end just to get uh, to basically where I died. And I told Brayden to pick up my stuff because he was logging in. <clears throat> basically what happened last night is we both tried to queue at the same time. Um, we both got in. I crashed. I started queuing again. Halfway before I got in, Brayden crashed. I got in and then halfway, like right before Brayden was about to join, I was going to go back and save him. And then I crashed too. So I don't, we're kind of just on a bad schedule right now and he's nowhere to be found. So I told him to go and pick up my food and stuff just because there, I, that's all I had and he's going to have to give it to me anyway. But if he didn't pick it up, there's a chance that that stuff is still there. Because uh, if nobody was in the chunks, <clears throat> obviously Braden I think has been in those chunks. But if nobody else has been in those chunks and the, the chunks have not been loaded for five minutes... Then the item timers have not been loaded for five minutes, and that thus means my items could still potentially be there. Low possibility, but a possibility nonetheless. If you guys want to let me know on what getting kicked for idle means, I have I don't know what that means. I got, well, obviously I kind of know what it means, but I was walking, I was literally doing what I'm doing right now, and then just pop, kick for idle. I don't understand it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are close to the end. Are you kidding me? You have been idle for too long. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I'm going to do. You can see that I'm in Q651 right now. I don't know, guys. I was walking down a staircase. The server was not lagging for me, or at least I don't think it was. But that's going to be it. I can't, uh, I have other stuff to do. I've been trying for probably close to 12 hours to record this episode, and obviously something does not want me to record it. So whatever footage I have left, I think I have enough for an episode. I'm sorry that this was a shorter episode, but hey, at least we got to the end and we got to raid a veteran base. That is absolutely mind-blowing that we still did that, and uh, I am very happy. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the oldest, ser the oldest server in Minecraft. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one.